As the housing crisis continues, the Florida legislature is beginning a special session to tackle property insurance reform. It's a hot topic, especially with the start of hurricane season just days away. CBS4's Joe Gorcho is in Tallahassee covering the debate and the possible legislation to come from it. If you're at home wondering if the special session will ease financial concerns, it won't happen in the short term. There are no provisions in the proposed legislation that guarantees that property insurance rates will stabilize or even drop. We spoke with an expert that helps explain what consumers can expect from the proposed bills. And a five-day special session is not going to fix all the troubles. It's not going to reduce costs for homeowners in terms of what they pay for their insurance, and it's not going to solve all the problems of many insurers that are financially struggling. Mark Freelander of the Insurance Information Institute provides insight. The legislation, as he puts it, is not a cure-all. That said, Freelander points to positive little steps forward. A positive piece, Freelander points out, is mitigation grants making homes more resilient. The downside, even if you qualify, you still need to invest. For every dollar you spend, the state provides $2, up to $10,000 total. We see communities across the country and those that are more resilient recover faster from catastrophes. Problematic for for low-income families. Regarding mitigation efforts in the bills, Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, on Monday said in part in a statement, quote, essentially this proposed infusion of resources enhances the state's home hardening initiative to a robust $612 million commitment to help policyholders fortify their house while qualifying for rate discounts. So the overall assessment is simple. There are no guarantees with rates going down or that property insurance companies can remain solvent because of all the catastrophic weather events that Florida is prone to. We will see what the final bills look like as the debate continues inside the State House on Tuesday. Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.